Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking determine whether the statement is true or false. Now let's look at the first one. For all x this a downward is for all. For all x belongs to the real number it says x square is not equal to negative 1. Now let's look at the cases. So what number can make this one like can make this square a negative 1. We know some of them. We know that when x is equal to i if we square this one that's going to give us negative 1 and also when we have x is equal to negative y and also if we, if we square this one that also gives us negative 1 but here they are saying this is a real number right for all x belongs to real number x square is not equal to negative 1 so but uh, these two are not real numbers so this is true this is always true then it cannot be equal to negative 1 so we can say this is true this is a true true statement okay now let's look at this one here it says there are existent x belongs to the integer this z is integer such that x square is equal to 2 now let's look at the cases where we can have if we square a number that will give us 2 we have some of them like x is equal to square root of 2 if you square this one that's going to give you 2 and also x, x is equal to negative square root of 2 this also can give you 2 but here they have mentioned this is their existent x belongs to integer but these two are not integer right not integer that makes this one false so there is no integer that will make x square is equal to 2 that's what it represents so this is false okay now let's look at another example so here we have for all x belongs to integer x square is greater than 0 now let's look at some cases for example if you have 5 square if x is equal to 5 5 square is equal to 25 and 4 square is 20, uh, 4 square is 16 and for example negative 2 square is 4 it seems like true all it's look like it's always greater than 0 but if you think about this if we have 0 if you square 0 that's going to be still 0 right that is not greater than 0 so there's one contradiction that makes this one false okay we can we cannot have any contradiction in this kind of this situation now let's look at this one here it says their existent x belongs to real number such that x square is equal to x so we have to see whether we have we can have this condition if one of them like if they say they are exist at least we have to have at least one condition that makes this one true now let's see whether we can come up with something like that so for example if i rearrange this one x square is equal to x x square minus x is equal to zero then if i take x common x minus one is equal to zero from this one we can say x is equal to zero or x is equal to one so we we have two cases when x is equal to zero if you square x you will get zero and also when x is equal to one if you x square is also one so this is true for these two cases so they are saying there exists an x belongs to a real number x square is equal to x so we have two conditions that make this one true so this is true okay and that's it and if you are trying to learn discrete mathematics there are a bunch of videos on my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time